Problems with the immune system, either attacking the wrong targets or failing to fend off real threats, cause a stunning array of health problems. Researchers in the Institute for Cell Engineering's Immunobiology program are untangling how the immune system works and exploring new ways to prevent and treat immune-related conditions. In my laboratory, we examine how stem cells give rise to the immune system and how the DNA of developing immune cells is shuffled to generate antibodies. While the shuffling creates the diversity we need to fight off attacks from viruses and bacteria, it can also go awry, leading to cancers such as leukemia. Our work has helped show how these cancers arise and may eventually teach us how to head them off. Work in Joel Pomerantz's lab focuses on the genetics of infection fighting white blood cells. His team studies a gene called CARD11, which helps signal the presence of infection, leading the cells to grow and divide. Certain mutations can turn CARD11 permanently on, causing out-of-control cell division that results in cancers called lymphomas. A better understanding of the mutations and their effects could lead to more personalized treatment for lymphomas. Meanwhile, Jonathan Schneck's research group looks for ways to use nanoparticles and other innovative therapies to train white blood cells to fight threats more effectively. They hope to find ways to boost the body's own defenses against diseases such as HIV and cancer. This is an exciting time for the field of immunobiology as we achieve the dream of harnessing the power of the immune system to save lives. We invite you to follow our progress on our website.